Hi, I'm Mandy with Sugar Ray Bling. I have the amazing opportunity to speak on the elite panel at this year's paparazzi convention. It was awesome. I thought it'd be fun to do a quick recap of those questions that I was asked so that I can share my answers here with you. Question, what is something that you do in your business that you would recommend always doing? We like to teach that you can't sell what you don't show. So something that I do every day in my business is show the jewelry, right? If you're not going to show it, how are your customers going to know that you have those pieces? I love when I pull pieces out of the vault and show them and then pack those into orders and think those have been there, but no one knew. They only knew because I showed it to them. And so I want to be showing pieces to my customers daily. And you can do this in a variety of ways. You can go live, you can do short flash sales, which I love doing and kind of built my business on that. But you can also do vendor events or pop-up events or reach out to people in messenger or text and just touch base and see if they have any needs of the pieces that you have. You can also post albums. You can schedule things on Facebook. So you can sit down at the beginning of the week and schedule out your posts for the whole week. And then things are showing up automatically getting those pieces that you have in front of your customers when you put in that effort in the beginning and then it automatically rolls the rest of the week. So that's a great way to work if you have a limited amount of time and want to still show your pieces each day. And you can lean into your strengths. If you love making reels or short form video, use that to get your pieces in front of your customer. If you're great at making sets and mixing and matching jewelry, put sets together and take pictures and use that to get in front of your customers each day. Just think of all the different varieties of ways that you can show pieces to your customers and mix and match. The more that you show, the more that you can sell. And so you want to be able to present jewelry and present pieces in a variety of ways so that people can shop in a variety of ways. Sometimes we get caught up in the organization of our business or things that we think we're missing and it gets busy, but it all just comes back to showing the jewelry. That's what our businesses are based on. You can't sell what you don't show, so you just need to be showing the jewelry consistently. What would you say is the most pivotal moment in your paparazzi business? I've had several pivotal moments in my paparazzi business. I'm gonna talk about a couple of them and they both happened at convention. One year I was at convention standing next to a teammate and we were watching people get recognized on stage. It was where they were walking the stage for ranks and it was just amazing to see so many different people achieving so many things. And it made me think, I could do that. I wanna do that too. And I turned to her and I said, next year, I'm on that stage. I was inspired by those who had gone before me and I knew that if they could do it, I could too. And I wanted to reach that achievement of hitting elite. At that time, you got to pick out a walk-up song when you were walking on stage. And so I set the goal that I wanted to walk the stage as elite the next year. And I picked out my song and I talked with my family about the goal. And then we got to work and we put into place things that we were working hard on so that we could stretch to achieve that goal. And we did it. The next year I was able to walk the stage as an elite consultant. So another pivotal moment that happened at convention was when I was standing in line at convention. The lines were long that year and and so you were standing in line for a while. I'm kind of an introverted person but when you're in line with someone for a while you get to know them and you talk and you and you ask them what's working for them in their business and get to know different strategies and learn and grow from each other. The person that I was talking to talked about how she was doing live sales consistently, like a TV show. Now I had done a live sale here or there, but I had never thought of doing it on a consistent schedule. And it was an aha moment. And I thought, I am going to do that. And I came back from convention and implemented that. I started going live on a schedule, same time, same day, every week, so that my customers knew when to find me. And that is when our sales started to take off. I was able to hit big sales goals that I didn't even know I had, that I couldn't even dream of before I started going live on a consistent schedule. And so I'm grateful for those who were able to share those nuggets of wisdom and tips 
as we were in line at convention that had a huge impact on my business. Side note, if you've never been to convention, put that on your goal list. Convention can have such an impact on you and your business to where you get great ideas and go back and implement them and you're just so excited to level up. And so that is what you can find at convention. I'd love to see you there. What are some of the systems you have put into place to help you achieve your goals? So some of you may know, but my husband and I work our business together. It didn't always used to be that way. But when he came on board full time, I was trying to show him the ropes and filling him in on how to do things. And he would ask questions and he would say, oh, how do you know that? And I'd say, oh, it's in my head. Oh, this is in my head. Where's this piece? Oh, it's, I know it's over here. Or I know this one's under the table. Oh, and that one is on top of the cabinet. And that one is over here. And when you ship to this person, make sure that you actually send it to this person who's her mom. And you know, and it was just all these quirky things about our business that were in my head. But your mind can only hold so much info. And I feel like I was putting a cap on our business because it was all right here and not out into a system. And I didn't realize it was all in my head until I was trying to explain it to someone else. And so ask yourself, if someone were to step into your business, would they be able to find pieces of jewelry and package up an order and send it out? Would someone be able to do that? Are you organized enough that someone other than you could step in and figure that out. And if not, it might be time to evaluate and think of some different systems that you could implement. There's lots of ways to organize, so it's totally up to you how you do it, whether it's by color or a number system. We do ours alphabetically. Whatever makes sense to you is going to be a great system, but any system that you have is gonna help you along your business journey. You'll also want a system to track different things in your business, like your sales, how much you're ordering, how many packages you're sending each week, how many customers you average each week. If you have these things tracked, you have a system for that. And it could start with something simple, just as a notepad and a paper that you're keeping track each week and each month. Or maybe you're a spreadsheets person, but you need to have systems that keep track of your sales so that you can know what your goals are and what your growth goals are. And remember that your systems evolve and change as your business does. So something that was working for you may need to be tweaked along the road. And maybe you'll hit a point where you realize that you need a different system in place, even though it was a great system before. So just think about that as you think about how you're running things in your business. And then keep in mind, don't get caught up in the systems. The business comes down to showing the jewelry and sharing it with others. And so you'll work your systems along the way as your business grows and develops. What is your current why and how has it changed? I love that our whys can be so many different things along our business journey. And so where I started with just a fun way to bring in some extra income for our family really evolved and grew to where now our family works this full time, which I couldn't have even dreamed of in the beginning. And we have the time, flexibility, and freedom that comes along with being in charge of your own schedule. And that is our why. I love it. We as a family were able to take a month long camping trip. You could never do that when you're working nine to five to take off a whole month. But we were able to do it with our business because we planned ahead and we scheduled it out and we were able to be flexible with our time. And so that is my why. I also love being able to connect with our customers and our teammates. And that is something I didn't anticipate when we started our business, but it's a huge part of what we do. We, we love sharing the confidence that $5 jewelry brings and the confidence that people on our team have when they're starting their own business and diving into something that they're doing for themselves. I love that aspect of it. And that's a big part of our why as well. There you go, that's a quick overview of the questions that I was asked on stage at Paparazzi Convention. Thank you for letting me share those insights with you. I'm Mandy with Shipri Bling. Be sure to subscribe here so you don't miss any of our tips and tricks and helpful hints in your business. If you're considering starting your own paparazzi business, we would love to have you on our team. Be sure to message me and I can answer any of your questions.